taken Fidden's pass, Ibrahim Kalin's masterful goal, and Turkey took that bomb step. Okan Matarasoglu discussed Turkey's stance and defense policies in the face of global threats, providing information on the role and importance of the newly established National Intelligence Academy. Matarasoglu discussed Turkey's place in international security and strategic measures. In his remarkable article in Sabah newspaper, Matarasoglu expressed his thanks to Hakan Fidan, who brought national intelligence up to date, and to Ibrahim Kalin, the head of MIT for his visionary approach. With its multipolar character and increasing risks, the world, which has turned into an arena of hybrid threats, is moving to a completely different point. The wars fought with tanks and cannons are being replaced by brand new methods of struggle, where spelling speaks. As a medium-sized country with the capacity to influence global developments, Turkey has to carry out second-generation reforms that will make the progress it has made in the fields of defense and intelligence permanent. From this perspective, the establishment of the National Intelligence Academy MIA deserves special attention. Yes, the support of the MIT is undeniable, but the MIA is not an organization that will train agents for the organization as it is believed to be. In my opinion, renaming it as the Turkish Intelligence Academy would offer a more inclusive perspective. Yesterday, we listened to the working principles of the Academy from Professor Dr. Talha Keksi, the president of MIA and his team, and we were really encouraged. The CBD will conduct scientific research, make strategic contributions to public institutions and the private sector, and pioneer the acceptance of Turkish patented theories and practices in the international arena. Over time, dot 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 creating an intelligence community consisting of academics, experts and competent people working on intelligence, producing information, will carry Turkey to the top league. I would like to thank Mr. Hakan Fidan, who has brought the national intelligence to a new era. It is a natural necessity to thank Mr. Hakan Fidan and Mr. Ibrahim Kalin, the head of MIT, for his visionary approach.